Um, you've obviously waited a long time for this tournament. How do you feel now then that the first game is coming up? Very excited. Um, can't, I can't wait to get started with the game on, on Saturday and really looking forward to it. Um, it's been better than what I expected working with this group of talented players and when I wrote the 24 out um, I did think to myself this is a good team I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it uh, and then when I get them out there to train it was just a different level of, of session because the, the, your players are just that good really enjoyed it a lot of the talk obviously when you set up to the squad the players that were going to be missing so what then have you seen from the group that's taken that expectation up the our standard in training the detail of um, how they behave off the field, um, the respect for things, and they've just, uh, this is Wiggins' club, and now they've just left the dressing room in uh, immaculate condition, and people might think that's nothing, to me it's everything, um, you know, the respect they have, and when it comes to the game time, um, we're going to have 17 really, really competitive players out there. Some are obviously fancied ahead of this game, could it be any more difficult from your point of view in terms of your position? Um, no, no, I don't. I don't think about that. To be honest, um, I just look at look at what we've got and how we train, and they they are without a doubt a talented bunch. But we're, we're a good team as well, and um, you know it's going to be a game on a Saturday. I can promise you that. I don't know if you saw the comments from Phil Gould saying that you can't beat Samara. That seems quite extreme. But how did you react? We'll see you on Saturday. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, hopefully he's not not right. It was. Australia named their 17 this morning for their game on Saturday. Are you in a position to do the same? No, I'm going to name it tomorrow. I've got discussions with players later and then we'll do ours in the morning. Are you, in your own mind, do you know what the team is? Yeah, just a couple of slight niggles uh, with a couple of people um, which I need to sort out with the, with the medical staff and nothing major at all. But I just need, I just need to be settled with, it, with my own selections. Later on, the, the, the you said that Maker was won yesterday. Is he? Yeah. Still yeah, he's he's trained today, and hopefully he can train tomorrow. And if if he does, he's got a chance of being it. Seeing Tommy at the end there, do, does that suggest that he's on the right wing on, on Saturday? No, he's here because he's a good player. He's, he's a really good chance. So is so is Elliot, and um, you know we've got we've got a, a, a genuine, talented bunch of players, and all the twenty-four. I'm excited, looking forward to a game, and we can rip into some more. John, what are the options if McMeekham wasn't to make it? Obviously, Bayman suspended. Would it be a Morgan Knowles, or would you have any doubt about throwing? Yeah, to Morgan Knowles and Kai, Kai. Um, Joe Batchelor. We, you know, we've got some, we've got some good talent in the team and a good mix. So I'm, I'm more or less settled with my, with my 17, but just not quite yet. Would you have any sort of hesitation about moving Callum Watkins out of the centres? I know he's played back row for Salford a, a lot this year, but do you see him as a centre in this team? I do, I do, but I wouldn't, uh, if needed on Saturday, I, I know I could rely on him. He's a, the way he's trained has been phenomenal uh, while I've been together, and um, I, w I wouldn't have any qualms putting, putting him there. You were very positive after the game on Friday, having watched it back in review. Did it, did it get better? Was it, was it a good one? No, no, it was, it, it was good. Um, but obviously, you see a few things what you want to improve on when you dig into it. But um, overall, still really satisfied. Um, but the real test is this Saturday against a team much um, flying and everybody's confident about. And it's up to us to represent our country and, and put a good show on. Matt Parrish has been very vocal that they're, they're underdone and you know they're. NRL grand finalists are going to take time to settle in. Do you subscribe to that view? No, no, um, not at all. Uh, they're, they're a really, really good team. Um, but what, a, what a game to start! You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really confident with my England lads, and when we're playing against, you know, some of the best in the NRL. I mean, you look at the 17 they they put out; it's very, very strong. But Marlon was strong, and it's the first game of a massive World Cup, and it it just doesn't get better. Sean, now you've been with the lads in the camp for sort of a week and a bit now. Have you sort of seen the, the messages you were sort of saying over Zoom or even over text messages or video or whatever, of something have, have hit home and have been learned? Yeah. Yeah, we've had, we've had conversations all the way through lockdown and, and, and different Zoom meetings and we swapped ideas. So I, I did, when we, when we all joined uh, up in camp, I did feel like I knew them really well. Um, 
but then Messi's messages which I've, I've tried to instill over the last few years um, the players get it you know and I'm not talking about every player I'm all about behaviors off the field and and being a complete England player and um, and fair play to the lads they showed me a lot of respect and and they're, they're doing what I'm what I'm asking so and I couldn't ask for any more Tommy um, I think you were 27 when you made your England debut in 2018 did you think at one stage that a World Cup, at least a home World Cup, might have passed you by? Uh, no, I didn't, to be honest. I just, you know, I made my debut then, you know, 26, 27. I always believed in myself and, yeah, I always knew I had a, had a chance of this. I just had to keep playing well and, yeah, here it is. It's uh, it's every kid's dream, isn't it, to, you know, a home World Cup. It's it's unbelievable. So the time's here now, it's about delivering. Obviously, there's a lot of talk flying around, but you've just got to deliver, haven't you? And, that, you know, and that's what we're good at. You've played in some, some great games at St James' Park in Magic Weekend. Where, where will Saturday rank in terms of career highlights? Oh, straight to the top, you know, no question. You know, you know, if you do get selected to, to play, you know, that opening World Cup at home, it's just it's as big as it gets. You know, it's a cliche in it, but we've been saying it all week, but that, that's it, it just doesn't come any bigger for us as a group of English lads. So, yeah, hopefully we can start it in style and, uh, and get the job done. What did you make of... Uh, Young's debut watching him from the stands on Saturday as a rival was a pretty good, pretty good effort for him. Oh, absolutely. He's, I wouldn't expect nothing less. He's, you know, an NRL based player, who, English lad who, who ripped in and he played really well. But, you know, Ryan Hall as well, you know, probably one of the best wingers that this country's had. And, yeah, back my talent as well to, to play for my country. So we just, yeah, if we have a Sean selects, we just know that they're going to do the job and, and get the job done. Sean, have you talked much about the captain's challenge? Because that's going to be yeah, yeah, we've, we've showed the players some detail of, of it and printed out the uh, the areas what we can challenge and what we can't. So, it, it, obviously, Elliot's used to it, but um, the English lads are not. I lose more than I win, though. I, know yeah. that. So, <laughs> I said I lose more than I win. So. <laughs> yeah, so we've had a good discussion and we want to go into this game and there's nothing to go wrong. Um, you know, we began to play the ball as well. That's how it is in Australia. Um, you know, you have to attempt to touch with your foot. Um, so we, we need to make sure that we're, we're switched on and we're, we're doing the right thing. We don't want to shock on on Saturday and, uh, and I've get penalised for anything. And, and, and in all this selection we do now, are you certain of your halves? Have you been certain of your halves right from the start? Okay. Yeah, well, I've got three good halves, yeah. and um, you know, you depending on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's not a problem between now and Saturday. That's already. That's sorted. You got a pick an 80th man as well. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Sean, have you picked your best 17 based on what you believe the ability of the squad is, or some of the size and their physicality sort of factored into your thinking as well? Yeah, there's, there's, there's that. I, I need to consider as well. Um, so that does change slightly, no question. So at the end of the day, um, we have to win. Mm -hmm. um, so whatever it, whatever it takes, I'll pick the, the team that's going to get that for us. Cheers guys. Yeah. All good. Thank you very much. Thank you.